Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what's good to all my heroes and villains out there? You know who it is. It's your boy, LC. And guys, welcome to another episode of News for Collectors. Now, as you've already seen in the title, this is going to be a whole different type of uh, news. Um, you know, lately, I've been getting a lot of messages, emails, and <clears throat> also lately, text messages on people hitting me up on, yo, man, I like your point of view when it comes to the Marvel news and all that good stuff. You know, I mean, I do have like over 3,000 comic books and a bunch of statues. I do know a little bit about, you know, Marvel and all that stuff. So, um, you know, so I like to do the, uh, you know, when I'm having the one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and debating and all that stuff, it's all fun. So people hit me up and email me and let me know, hey, you know, I'd like to hear your point of view and your thoughts on some of these uh, leaks and movie news that's happening. So I decided to go ahead and there is a, a couple of YouTubers that I do watch, like Cosmic Wonder um, that I do watch um, or um, 3C Films, uh, which is one that we are going to be checking out. So I do check these guys out and... Um, you know, for most of the time, they are accurate with the news. And um, so I do enjoy it. So um, right now, today's video, what I am going to wind up doing is I am going to go ahead and react to some of the news that did come out, some of the leaks that did drop. And then I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts, my reactions, and give you some of the 411 that I may have as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to this. Uh, guys, if this is your first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to ring that bell and comment below. Uh, also, check out my other videos. We got some toy hunts, unboxings, trailer reactions. We got it all. All right. So, all right, guys, let's get into this um, Spider-Man news. All right. So the, the one we're going to check out now, yo, he's real funny. This is uh, Chris from 3P Films. Um, so I love his intros, especially, um, he's real hilarious. So let's go ahead and say what he's got to say. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. I don't think we're going to be able to do a crazy intro on this one, guys. We got too much serious stuff to talk about with Spider-Man No Way Home. Hello? Right. I really can't. I got a dentist appointment. No one says no to me. <laughs> but what we're going to be talking about here today, guys, is the mind-blowing, jaw-dropping photos that released online last night for Spider-Man No Way Home that give away some really key moments in the film. We will be discussing whether it's real or fake, but just to be 100% safe, if you're someone who wants to not know anything about Spider-Man No Way Home, I just recommend you click off this video and tune in to the next one I post. I fully respect everybody who makes that decision. It was just kind of hard for me to avoid these photos when they were literally everywhere last night. So we are going to be breaking down where these photos came from, if they are legitimate, and why this mess is even happening, as well as even some new TV spots for Spider-Man No Way Home that reveal snippets of new footage. So I'm going to need you Spider-Man fans to give me your opinions down below, especially on this whole photo leak situation. Like, what is your take on it? Do you think this was an okay move to do? Do you think it was really dumb? you think the photos are real or fake? Like, I seriously want to know from you guys down below. And do please hit that like button for me. I'm going to the dentist today. I'm definitely afraid of them, and I'm getting the teeth pulled. So I really hope the trailer don't even come out today or something else make it for Spider-Man No Way Home. Cause... Guys, real quick, if you do want to know about what pictures he's talking about, I'm sure he won't show them. You know, um, I'm sure he'll probably blur them out. But if you want to see the pictures... Go ahead and check out the Heroes and Villains Instagram and Facebook. And um, you can go ahead and see the pictures for yourself of the leaked footage that dropped. So check that out. Make sure to follow us on Heroes and Villains Collectibles, Facebook, and Instagram. So let's get back to the news. I don't think I'll be able to talk for the rest of the day. All right, so yes, late last night, I... Last night, out of nowhere, you personality John Campion who has been on the platform for like several years I remember I was watching him today he was talking about the photos high school and now I'm 26 years old and the boy is still going strong with his YouTube channel well out of nowhere he posted two photos with the caption real or excellent all right so real quick before I even get to this so 
Okay, so Chris posts his videos at like, this video was posted at like 9 o'clock in the morning. John Campia did his video live at like about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So he already addressed these photos. These are the photos I was talking about that if you want to see them, go ahead and check out my Heroes and Fitness Collectibles Instagram and you will find them there. But yes, he already addressed these photos um, on his show. So let's go ahead and see what Chris has to say about it. His thoughts, is crazy, bugged out he's bringing up John Campia, but hey, you know, I, I understand why. But uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see his point of view on it, and then I will let you know what John Campia said afterwards. So, all right, let's get back into it. Yeah, I watch John. I don't agree with everything, but I do like the way he does his movie news. The best way to go about finding movie news stories and deliver them to you guys. I just want to be completely honest with you guys as much as I can. So now knowing that, I know what John Campia is like and his show. Seen him for several years. And this is a person who, like, hates spoilers, okay? If this yeah. guy sees a leak or a scooper trying to ruin a movie for a person, he will flat out go on a rant for, like, 20 to 30 minutes on his show about how much he hates. Yeah, they have a wa his watermark on him. I'll explain what happened. He also explained that. Yeah, those are fake. Always screaming about that fakes and leaks in the industry are ruining movies, and now that 
you're even just a little unsure if these are real or fake, even though a source told you that they might be, you still want to repost them and share them with the world? I'm like, what are you doing, man? But now, putting all that... So, yeah, okay, so... So today on the John Campion show, because I did see it, he did, he did um, bring it up. So basically what happened was he did receive those pictures, but then the person told him, listen, don't tell nobody it was me. He was going to post the pictures, but he didn't want the person to say, you know, to him to put the person's name on it. So he said, okay, since the last fake pictures I put on got like 12,000 likes, let me go ahead and put my watermark on these so that way people know exactly where these came from because nobody else had those photos, you know? He thought they were fake. So and then when he put them on, you know, he admitted to it. He said, yeah, that's why I put my watermark on it, you know? So then when he put them on, that he went to go uh, put them out there. Five minutes later, when he went back to check, you know what I mean? He got, a, he got contacted and they said, yo, those pictures might be real. So, um, you know, he had to go ahead and uh, take them down. And that's where the whole thing happened. But, um, yeah, let's keep going, you know. But that way, at least you have both sides. At least, you know, John Campia did come out and say, yeah, you know, it was me. And this is why I did it, you know. But he was real sincere about it, you know. So let's keep going. No, they're not fake. They're not fake. Yeah, in the trailer, they didn't show that. So he's running away with it as Doctor Strange is chasing him. There you guys have it. All right, that was a good one, Chris. Oh, there you go. That's Chris at 3C Films. Real awesome. Now, what did I think on that note? So, there you guys have it on that. So, 
like I said, yo, it's if you guys want to see the pictures, go on He Was in Venice Collectibles Instagram and you can see for yourself, you know, decide for yourself. You know, I did post them on the site. Um, I wasn't going to show them neither here on my YouTube channel as well because I don't want to get banned, you know, because, um, yeah, uh, those, those photos are real. So I wasn't going to show them on here anyways. So that's why I put them on the Instagram so you guys could check them out. You know, but I also wanted to show to let you guys know the other side of the John Campia. I do watch the show daily. Um, so Chris video was at nine in the morning. Then John Campia addressed everything at one in the after nine in the morning was Chris. And then John was at one in the afternoon. So that way, um, you know, he did address it. So he said, yeah, you know, the guy didn't want nobody to know it was him. So I said, OK, listen, it was me putting it out there. This is where it came from. So, but he didn't know it was going to get as big as that because he thought they were fake, you know. But, um, yeah, guys, there you have it. You know, we're about a month away till we get that Spider-Man No Way Home movie, you know, about five weeks. So, really happy about that. Guys, once again, if this is your first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. I'll let you know when I got new stuff. And also comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. If you enjoyed this, you know, um, then I can give you some more movie news just like this. You know, I love um, checking out Chris. You know, his videos are always funny. Um, also, I love checking out Cosmic Wonder. You know, these guys come out. You know, most of the times they are accurate with their um, movie news. So I love watching these guys. So... But also, guys, make sure to check out my other videos. Got some toy hunts, got some unboxings, all that good stuff. Also, remember, Monday, November 15th is my birthday. So I am doing the live birthday unboxing, giveaway, and all that uh, video. So hope you guys can join me on Monday, 7 o'clock Eastern, November 15th. So... Yep, we're going to be on there. I'm going to do an unboxing, a big unboxing. And then we're going to go ahead and announce the giveaway. And if you want to know how to win, all you have to do is go check out my old my video that I put out that says birthday giveaway. It'll let you know what to do to enter to win. All right. So, all right, guys, on that note, I'm going to end the video here. All right. Uh, go ahead. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. This is the first video I actually do when it comes to uh, some movie news. Uh, let me know if you guys did like it. You know, I can go ahead and do more when it comes to future, um, you know, Marvel or DC movies coming our way. All right. So let me know. Comment below. All right. So also, guys, remember, we're almost there at the 200 subscribers. And we got the 200 subscriber giveaway, which is the Star Wars Darth Vader from Rogue One. All right. So. All right, guys. On that note, this has been another episode of News for Collectors. I'm your boy, LC. Until next time. Peace.